Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Anas, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment and I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back and please be a witness because we already know for over 100 videos, over 150 videos now I made so far on Shopify customization because they were mostly requested by you guys. And by you, I mean subscribers, and some people are not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. Or actually, if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to be an expert on how to do anything yourself, why not subscribe to the channel, man? I don't have anything to sell. I don't sell any courses, never will. I don't have any paid memberships on the channel. Everything I do create, I post it completely free on the channel. You just have to skip around some advertisements, but that's the case most of the videos on YouTube, right? So it's a win-win situation, but I respect your decision, let it you decide, just a like button, that's all I'm asking. And here I am again, back with another requested video, which is how to resize the sold out badge on the product cards on your Shopify store. Lately, I did post a video on how to resize the sale badge on the product cards on Shopify store, and I got the request for this. Because also, like a month ago, I did post a video on how to customize the sold out badge to make it red, and to make a rounded corners and to make the text in different color. Yes, I did show how to make that video. And now I will show you how to resize it to make it bigger or smaller, however you want. And only on the product cards. And also, this will be actually for both mobile or desktop or both of them or just one of them and let you decide again. So if you want to resize the sold out badge only on the mobile, this video will help you out. And if you want to resize the, the sold out badge on the desktop only, this video will help you out. And if you want to resize the sold out badge on both the desktop and in the mobile, this video will help you out as well. So no worries. And without any more talking, let's just get to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard. And I have here down team, which is the one I do demonstrations on. So every video I do share or code, I do demonstration in the video on down team because it's the most requested one and also it's the most used one. And also if I scroll down in here, I have every other free teams, the most used ones, which is Refresh, Spotlight, Taste, Sense, and Trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try all the tricks behind the scenes on all of these teams. And I don't do that in the video, so I don't bore people, so I do it in behind the scenes, because it's like seven or six teams in here. So even if you're not using down team, using one of these should work for you just fine. Even if it didn't, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to make to help you out. And I just have to say this in the beginning so I give you that peace of mind because you're going to see me doing it on down team. And you might be thinking, oh, maybe it's not working for the others. No, it is. No worries. And without out of the way, let's just get to it and show you how to resize this little one right here. The sold out badge on the product cards. Not the product page, on the product cards. And lately I might show a video or do a video on how to resize this on the product page. This one is only for the product cards. And by the way, the Shopify store that you see here, everything on the Shopify store, I did it in tutorials. Literally everything. Because I do remove the changes I do in tutorials on, on the team. I keep them. So if you saw anything that you like on the Shopify store, you think it looks good, you want to implement it in your store as well, then check out the channel. Once it's here on the store, that means it's already done and posted. No worries. So again, if you saw anything you liked, Scroll down the channel and you will see the video for it. But in this video, I will show you how to resize this one to make it bigger or smaller, however you want. So we will keep this page open, then do the trick, come back and see it in action. So get back to Shopify dashboard. After that, click on the three dots on the left of customize and click on edit code. Then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And then here we need to find a specific file. Instead of looking at the folders, use the search bar at the top left corner. And again, I have to repeat this. So it's going to be either base.css or theme.css or style.css. One of them, base or theme or style. In some rare made uh, custom made themes, it's going to be custom.css. But I'm sure mostly they use base.css. So simply type in base. In my case, I know it's base. So here it is. Make sure it ends with .css. And after that, scroll all the way down. Let me drag this because it's a huge file. Here we go. So in here, we need to create some space to pass in the code. And there is no space. To create that space, click front of the last thing in here, then hit enter on your keyboard. Here we go. We have a completely new line because as I said, we need to pass in some code. 
in order to get that code you need to hire a developer pay him wait 24 hours i'm just joking scroll down the description box and you will see a link name it as code click on it and it will take you to this page right here where you're gonna see this very short code that will do the trick for us and i will show you how to edit the code this code sorry to do the trick either on the mobile only or desktop only or both of them and it's very simple no worries you will only change like a word or something so in here it says font size you already know it there is simple right if you want it bigger increase the number you want it smaller decrease the number and in here line height which is line height i don't know how to explain this translate that so 16 bigger increase it smaller decrease it and the padding which is the positioning of the the sale badge i'm gonna keep it just this number just for demonstration so select the whole thing then right click and copy and after that get back in here and paste it in the space that we did create after that let's just click on save button wait for a couple of seconds it save it we will get back in here and see how does it look like now oh check it out it's much bigger as you can see way bigger so you can play around with the numbers to get it exactly however you want but as i said this is only for the desktop if i switch to the mobile check it out it's a regular size again it's not big same as the sale badge as you can see and if i close this to the desktop it's bigger now so the changes only apply in this case for the desktop what if you want to do the opposite the changes will only apply for the mobile not the desktop that's easy get back to the code editor and let me zoom in on it so you can see so in here the first line in here says min dash width so min stands for minimum remove this min and type in max which stands for maximum that was very simple now click on the save button wait for a couple of seconds let's save it we will get back in here let's just reload the page and boom back to the regular size now but if i switch to the mobile let me switch to the mobile here it is it's much bigger now as you can see so on mobile it's much bigger but if i close this to the desktop back to the regular size so the changes now apply on the mobile but not on the desktop what if you want to do it on both easy simply get back to the code editor and this line right here with which we, we, when we change it the min to max simply remove the whole line remove the opening bracket at the end as well like this and remove the last bracket in here remove it and keep only this one then click on the save button wait for a couple of seconds we'll get back in here reload the page and check it out much bigger now and if i switch to the mobile much bigger on the mobile as well so in here the changes apply to both of them now you get to pick and choose and decide which one you want to apply the changes on but for now i think my job it is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one